no anesthetic in the Martian base, this man has to perform surgery on himself. And the only tool he has, a stapler, with the agonizing crunch of metal tearing through flesh, Mark survives. But this is just the beginning of hell. He's left with just 30 days of food, and the nearest rescue mission four long years away. Waiting means death. I'm not gonna die. But this botanist makes an insane decision. He collects all the natural fertilizer. He, he mixes the excrement with the toxic Martian soil he's going to farm on Mars. In this absolute barren hell, the first green miracle actually sprouts. Food solved. Next, water. There is no liquid water on Mars. Mark uses his chemistry knowledge, attempting to ignite rocket fuel to create water droplets. The first tri- But he's a genius level lunatic. If he's not dead, he keeps trying. The second time, he successfully makes it rain inside the dry habitat. With this life support system, he single-handedly builds a miniature Earth on this alien world. But Mars won't let an invader off that easy. The airlock explosion instantly destroys everything. Minus 60 degree air rushes in. Decades of labor wiped out. The potatoes freeze instantly. The greenhouse becomes an ice tomb. This time, he truly has no way out. He's left with two choices. Starve here, or fight like hell. To meet his only rescue window, he must drive a rover across 3,200 kilometers of deadly desert. And to launch into orbit, he has to strip his multi-ton spaceship down to the skeleton, tearing out the windows, ripping off the ceiling. Finally, just a sheet of canvas is all that covers his head. He launches a completely exposed convertible sports car into space. It's an ascent destined for a near certain death. His ship breaks through the atmosphere, but he's still hundreds of meters from his crew, and the fuel runs out. At this final deadly distance, he punctures his own spacesuit glove, using the escaping air as a thruster. In that moment, all of humanity is holding its breath. That hand grabs him. It grabs a miracle. After 500 Martian Sauls, he grew hope in hell. He finally came home.